Hello YouTubers, this is the B-Man 610 and this is my fifth entry into Nico's contest part two. So yeah, um real quick update on the new mock. Um I realized I'll need to do five layers of gray two by fours and one layer of tan two by fours. So I took the tan two by fours off and I made my name it out of them. So up close so um the only thing that were hard was the B and the six because I made these all out of two by sixes. So yeah, but you guys can definitely tell what it is. Like the B it looks pretty good. And then um the six looks okay. And then everything else looks perfect though. So yeah, that looks like a Acropolis. The M. Um, you guys don't know what that is, type in Acropolis. Pretty sure what that is. It's, it's um Oh my god. It was part of the Acropolis of ancient um Athens. It's confusing and stuff. But yeah, so that's really cool. Um, I'm going to Lego store tonight. I um, called someone there and I'm like, oh hey, do you got these uh, roof pieces and these uh, white uh, slopes? And he was really nice. Um, uh, everyone else that I've called for a pick a brick, they just look on the wall and if it's not there, they just say it's not there. But he actually went in back and he told me how many crates there were and everything. So I really wish I would have asked him if I could buy the crates, cause he seemed like he sounded like the perfect guy to do it to, cause he was really nice, or do to ask, cause he was really nice and he like actually told me how many crates there were. So I figured that would have been perfect. I would have asked him, but um, you know, whatever. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get 30 of these flat pieces and uh, 30 of these. He said they had a crate of these, which is I'm guessing like a thousand, and they had three crates of these, which are probably 1,500 in each crate. So. That's cool, and that looks really awesome. They took up three green base plays. But, oh, dude, that'd be awesome if I would have had enough tan bricks. And then what I could do is when I finish the mock, I could have like, oh, dude, I need that as like my logo. That'd be awesome. Okay, sorry. So um, let's just start in the mock. So Nico told me to take the fences and the gray pieces off. I didn't take the gray pieces off because that would take way too long. I just want to get this mock done so I can start with this mock. This thing is gonna be epic. I really hate just leaving mocks sit there, but um, yeah. So he and he also told me to take the fences off. I took it off. Um, I didn't take it off those because I l tried it and it looked horrible. I mean, like also because then the clones it's easier for them to fall off because this is the only place where there's actually clones on the roof. So I took it off these, and um, he didn't. I don't. I'm pretty sure he didn't tell me to take the, these fences off, so I didn't take those off. And so he told me to take the roof off. So. I took them off, you know, I looked at it, and I didn't really like it, because it just looked, like, too small, you know? Because normally roofs are, like, thickish, and it just looked really thin, so I didn't leave that. Or, I left those out. So, let's get started. Um, Pretty much, you guys can see um, the Flamethrower Trooper. It's a pretty cool custom, guys. Uh, I got my own. I mean, this is totally a custom Flamethrower. No one else. Give me any credit or ideas for this. I have a flame. I how to make this. Um, I'm pretty sure someone might have given me like an idea of how to do the flame, put the flames in, but I don't remember. So um, yeah, you guys can see I got these uh, slope pieces from the Lego store. They're uh, see through the ones in the clone battle packs, and then I also got a ton of these fire pieces. You guys look over there. Almost got a whole small cup full of them. So if you guys. I need you guys to go to my Lego store. Well, you said they only had one crate of them, so sorry, but I took them. And, um, yeah, so I put, um, these fire pieces and all these yellow pieces because I haven't been able to get, um, the cone pieces, like, in my pesticide stuff. So then you can hook them on. But, um, yeah, so I got this fire spewing out of the droids. It's coming out of the clones, too, but they're already dead. And then it spread all the way back here, and this droid ran past it, so how huh, he's on fire. We got a little bit of Italian and droids right here. This tree is going to fall down next mock because it's going to catch on fire and then go poof. So then, um, yeah, this is like the first wave of droids. They're coming from all the way around besides the back part. And, um, yeah, so here you guys can see that uh, gun took out like four droids. This guy got his head shot off by a sniper. And then, um, yeah, these four droids are trying to take out the snipers. And he's coming to help them. This guy is trying to take out this droid. And then these droids are, like, hiding behind rocks. And, um, 
yeah, these clones are coming out. From the base, there's a ton of them coming out. I'll look at, you guys can get a view. This is what the Super Battle Droid is seeing. You know, it looks pretty menacing. So, I would definitely be scared if I was in. It means one guy with a, super, or a rocket arm versus six clones. So, you know. And so, two tall trooper is leading the attack over here. Um, these droids aren't very smart because they were just running past and didn't even see the clones up here. But then they got shot down. They're like, oh, we should probably shoot up there. So, yeah, now they're firing. So, the clones are going to win because jetpack clones normally have to be more advanced. And also, because they have the higher ground, which if you guys know anything about war, higher ground is definitely an advantage. Especially when you guys have to run up the, the um, ground to get to the other people. It's, you know, hard. And, um, yeah, normally clones one-on-one -on -one or four-on-four -on -four would win anyway. So then um, we got these droids back here. And just one lone elite base guard is going to oppose them. Of course, he's elite, so he'll probably do good, but he won't kill them all. But luckily, there's clones in there to oppose them also. And the jetpack clones can, when they're freed up, they can go over there. So we'll swing around here. We got um, a clone, a jetpack clone. I have five of them. I actually have eight jetpacks, but um, one's on my Mando leader. And then the other two are on my Senate commandos. Two of my seven Senate commandos. Um, he got a droid on a chain because he was hanging from there, you know, just being a silly clone. And then he got that on the chain. And then he's going to, like, whip it around and try to take out some droids. These droids, they got two, um, they were, like, running, trying to get there as fast as they could. And they got, boosh, and they exploded. And, um, yeah, we got, um, a ton of droids here going up against snipers. Um, one lone super rocket arm battle droid over here. You got a ton of battle droids over here. This guy's rocking over the river. Then we got um, Lieutenant Arrow leading this force. So this is the view of this super battle droid. I'll literally actually put you guys on top of him and zoom in. So that's what he's seeing. Looks pretty menacing. Of course, he has more. It's, they're, they're about even numbers. Yeah, Lieutenant Arrow's leading them. Our trooper coming there and there. And he's coming over here. The EB3 clones and the Biker Scout troopers. And the scout troopers, sorry. Um, and they put down their stuff, and now they put up their guns and they're firing. And the beat base, elite base guards coming over here to help. And um, yeah, um, we got. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. So Captain Rex here. We got some base guards and elite base guards out here. Clone running out of there. Another clone getting ready to run out. Jesse is putting his shotgun away so we can see if this clone is okay. Obviously, he doesn't look too hot, but, you know, it looks like he's about to shoot him, doesn't it? But he's not. You give him, like, a, like, shoot a curve bullet, like, in, um, bullet storm. You can be like, it's cool. Never played it, just watch Toby play it. Hibuscus. Epic Titian. Sorry, um, so yeah, these four clones, uh, were late getting out of the bunker, which is in here, because they were asleep, and they're like, Oh, shoot! It's like, wake up, wake up, wake up! And like, holy crap! And yeah, so they were getting their stuff on. And then, um, in the bunker, the three clones that were warning everyone about the attack are still in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this part two. Um, this is a really, this is, uh, my tallest solid base. I did a 40, uh, 37 stud tall base. I think, or maybe it was a 43 stud tall base, but um, that was really crappy because it didn't have it had it didn't have any back, and it was like you know slotted, so you have one there, and then space, and another one, and so that looked really crappy. But this is definitely my biggest solid base. The only holes are for the guns. So um, yeah, hope you guys like this. This looks really sweet. I'm giving you guys another bird's eye view. Put you guys up here. See what you guys can see. So yeah, there it is. I can finally fit it all in for once. And there is my name. So we'll see you guys. Bye.